Hey guys, Clumsy here. Welcome to the Philippines. Oh my goodness, I miss traveling home and uh, I couldn't resist so I set up an entire FBO network here in the Philippines so expect a lot of flights moving forward here. I've downloaded all the liveries, all the custom uh, airports and whatnot and I even bought this one. This is the Naiya International Airport, the main airport in the Philippines by CloudSurf Asia Simulations. Very nice so far, but I haven't tested a lot yet, but we'll go and fly together. Yeah. As you might also notice, we are now on the A320neo, the A32NX by Fly-by-Wire Simulations. I am giving it a try again as recommended by members from our community. I'm in the development version and so far looking pretty good. Oh, someone is taking off. What's interesting though is they're taking off from a runway that shouldn't be used as... Anyway, not my problem. Oh, that looks great. Okay, the passengers have finished loading. Let's go ahead and remove that jetway, please, so we can push back. And while that's working, there we go. That's actually working with this airport. Very nice. While that's working, we'll have our co-pilot take care of all the ATC communication so I can focus on flying the aircraft. Joanna will be here to help us along the way. Zepu Air 635 ready for pushback and engine start. Zepu Air 635 pushback and engine start approved. Pushback and engine start approved Zepu Air 635. Nice, there we go. Turn on the beacons. Release the parking brake. Push back. Can start. And a uh, few pumps are on. Let's go ahead and turn the engine number two on. And let's go and turn to our left here. Looking pretty good. Now compared with the CRJ, this plane is a lot more automated. But that's also where the beauty is in the automation. Zepu Air 635 ready to taxi. Zepu Air 635 taxi to runway 06 via taxiways Golf 1 2, Delta 3, Foxtrot 3, Papa, Juliet, Lima, Golf 8 Echo, Charlie 5, Charlie 6, Hotel 2, hold short runway 31 and runway 06. Okay, good luck. We're crossing through here. Oh, that's a very nice looking terminal. Definitely handcrafted. That is beautiful. One way is clear on both sides. Ah, that's quite nice. Mabuhai. Tower Zepu Air 635 ready for departure runway 06. Zepu Air 635 winds are light and variable cleared for takeoff. Runway 06 squawk 3432. Oh, that looks very nice, doesn't it? Beautiful. It's more fun in the Philippines indeed. Oh, I miss this sight. This is the closest I can get to home in more than a year. I'll take it. Okay, here we go. Let's line up properly. Looks good. 50% on the throttles. Stable. Push forward on the stick. Man flex. Let's keep it in the center. 80 knots, release forward pressure on the stick. Oh, that sounds beautiful, those engines. B1, rotate. Keep 
it a very steady climb. Positive rate. You're up. And let's follow that flight director. Beautiful. Oh, there you go. Hello, Manila. Actually, didn't tell you where we're going, did I? We're actually going to Puerto Princesa. Ooh. As Manila as it gets. What's cool about this as well is we can actually adjust this in the fly pad. I love how those clouds just blend with them, those hills pretty nicely. What we can do about this is we can actually lower the exterior volume in the, the engines so when we go outside it doesn't seem like it changes oh yeah it changes that's the weakest it can go and everything is just automated they have nothing else to do <laughs> Oh my goodness. So this is what hands-free flying feels like, huh? Cool. Very different from flying the CRJ. I definitely get why people like this a lot. The automation is real. Now granted, I think the VNAV, um, the vertical uh, navigations, the altitude constraints, it's still a work in progress. So that one we might still need to manually descend. We will see. Zapu Air 635, climb and maintain flight level 360. Climb and maintain flight level 360, Zapu Air 635. Ah, that's nice. That's definitely an improvement from the stable build. Because I tried flying the stable build initially. Uh, to be honest, I wasn't too happy with it, but uh, Bunky recommended I try out the development version. And yeah, it does seem a lot more feature filled. That little thing there, when we've been cleared to flight level 360, and I moved the altitude uh, selector there, in the stable build, I had to press the button to reflect that which shouldn't be the case if you're still climbing and you increase the altitude it should just continue there and shouldn't stop at the previous altitude you set so it's good that that's actually working now here in the development build the dev build oh even that works now in the stable version that actually didn't work when you try to place a waypoint or an airport at that box it would say not yet implemented or something along those lines here that works and you can see the distance to go how many miles more before we reach our or that specific waypoint you put in wow that's a beautiful sight hello philippines so this one Puerto Princesa was actually made by a couple of amazing guys in the flightsim.2 site. You can check the mods list link in the video description. Most of these airports were done by KML921, Turtle Tank 1997, and uh, yeah, you'll see the details in that mods list. But I downloaded a lot of uh, Philippine airports for free. The Naia airport itself was paid from Cloud Surf Asia simulations, but these other ones, this Puerto Princesa airport we're going to in particular, this is a freeware, so we'll see how it looks. Zapu Air 635, expect the Nomi 2 whiskey arrival with the Nomi transition for the ILS approach to runway 27 at Puerto Princesa International. After Tokon clear, direct Nomi. After Tokon? Nice. So MCDU menu, ATSU, AOC, I don't know what these acronyms mean. I'll have to research more on that. But we can request for the ATIS at the airport. 
Yeah, it looks good. Send. Sent. And now that we have here received messages, I think. Yeah, the eight is. Ah, oh, eight is not available. Okay, it's bad. Well, we can maybe request for the weather at least. Yeah. Right. Received message. Oh, there it is. Okay, it took a while to arrive. The metar. Okay, if we can print that, that would be great. Oh, there it is. It's printing. Oh, there it is. That's Seven nice. Six three five descent to cross Nomeo at flight level one seven zero and descend via the Nomi two whiskey arrival with the Nomeo transition to two thousand five hundred feet. QNH is one zero one one at Porto Princesa International. Where's the paper? Oh, there. We'll cross Nomeo at flight there. level one seven zero then descend via the Nomi two whiskey arrival with the Nomeo transition to two thousand five hundred feet. QNH is one zero one one seven air six three five. Ponomio at flight level 170 it says I have my doubts that will be followed but okay let's try so 2500 feet and then we push 2500 and then we push for a managed descent we see the dot it's a good sign we see the indications thrust idle and descent now enabled now if you look at the pfd it will say nomio at flight level 170 so that's exactly what we are hoping for we'll see if that comes true in the meantime let's enter the destination data here so let's go to performance next phase there we go qnh at uh, puerto princesa is uh, one zero one one. Yes, temps are two seven. Winds are two nine zero at four knots, and that should give us enough information to calculate the proper landing and approach speeds. That is perfect. Barrow uh, the minimums for this one. Let's have a look. So ILS two seven minimums would be. Uh, let's see. Straight in landing ILS, this one. 231 decision altitude. So that's what we'll be following. 231. Looks good. And we are good to go. Man, if there is one word I'll describe this Airbus, it's convenient. Convenience? Convenient. Especially compared with the CRJ which I've been flying a lot the past couple of days my goodness this is just everything is automatic I almost don't have to touch anything let's also check that we'll be arriving at Nomiot flight level 170 we do see that in the PFD flight level 170 is the next altitude constraint but I don't have any indication if where we'll be getting to where we will be actually by that point one cool thing that I enjoy as well with this development version is there is now the throttle detents that you can set up here in the stable version this is not yet implemented in 0.6.1 and this is very helpful for me because I have a uh, Thrustmaster Hotas 4 which has that huge detent in the middle of the throttle so it always stops there and might as well make that perfectly aligned with the climb detent on the virtual throttle here quite perfect for that purpose okay it does i do think like we're descending a bit too fast so to be on the safe side what i'll do let's uh, limit our climb to flight level 170 Okay. Will, will anything change if I change this? I, I'm hoping for like a range to altitude, you know, the range banana. Boeing banana on an Airbus probably won't see that. But I think you should see something. A different icon. Maybe that white thing. 
that white arrow should be moving there I'm not so sure anyway so limit ourselves to flight level 170 so we don't miss our crossing altitude just in case this uh, managed descent will not do its job well enough we are 20 miles from Nomio 26 miles and uh, getting close to flight level 170 here maybe a tad too early yeah yeah maybe it's not really respecting that yet but th that's okay we have auto thrust we just have to maybe limit our descent from time to time so that's the way to go limit our altitude selected to flight level 170 we level off here and after we cross Nomio we continue our descent that should be okay not optimal but it works but I, I didn't think I would be much fond of the printer because I can get that weather in multiple areas I have multiple sources right just open a browser get the meta and whatnot but having that actually printed out and shown here adds a lot to the immersion you keep inside the window very nice I like it right Nomio flight level 170 I actually like the fact that pilot to ATC gave us a crossing restriction that doesn't happen often because in the chart it just says above flight level 110 or should it be 11,000 at that point anyway yeah so pilot to ATC actually told us to cross Nomio at flight level 170 and then continued descending via the Nomio 2 whiskey arrival quite nice very realistic sounding also one thing I learned so I have a friend who's a real-life pilot and he, he flies here in the Philippines he's from the Philippines as well so he, ha he knows a lot of stuff about the standards that they use here so I asked some things and he mentioned that uh, yeah it uh, in the Philippines they use kg so kilograms for the unit of measure the weights and they also use the hectopascals so with QNH and they also use decimals so that's the combination so one to one decimal something is what they kind of use quite nice just these small quirks small uh, realism factors keeping it as accurate as possible within limits what a view what I also like about this Airbus is there are a lot of quick views external view I think what was that I don't know showcase fixed camera I think 13 and 14 are my favorites yeah this one the window views 14 is the engine view oh my goodness that looks so good I think I, that's my new favorite 12 is also looking pretty nice right oh yeah that looks so scenic move to different cameras via A key by default shift A to go back oh that's a win-win and then press insert to get back to the default view the cockpit view when needed what is this doing oh interesting so now it's staying at 10,000 feet because it needs to slow down to 250 knots to be within the speed restriction below 10,000 it's quite nice actually that's not the arrival that should have been yeah we're not following the arrival to a T here mm, pilot to ATC might get mad at us Zip Air 635 you're off course turn right heading 187 to return to course there we heading go that's what he's saying Zip Air 635. because if I show you the map yeah we are a bit off should be going to Rigis Cavill and Rigis but there is no Cavill no Rigis in here let me have a look here if I did something wrong destination arrival ILS 27 Nomio 2 Whiskey that looks good Zipu Air 635 QNH is 1011 cleared for the ILS approach to runway 27 in Puerto Princesa International now we don't get any indication for the ILS which is interesting oh yeah that didn't automatically plug in I should have double checked 
one one zero decimal one there you go there it is okay approach please thank you there it is the glide slope the localizer flaps to landing gears going down we have auto brakes to medium we can still catch up not the best approach but we'll make it work you know what let's do it so that we can gauge for ourselves how it looks like how it feels looking good all right i wonder why the ils frequency didn't arm itself it didn't load automatically it should be automatic maybe there was something weird with the flight plan plugging we're not really aligned oh, that way let's move to the left Hundred above, three hundred. Good. Bit low. Suggest. So there we go. Minimum. Land. There we go. That's the way we like it. One hundred. Keep that descent. 50, Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Retard. Like idle there you go i'll take it all the brakes should be Tempo deployed air 635 exit runway when able can we oh, i love those sounds that's the way it goes we can exit here no problem the brakes are pretty strong on this one very nice cool and yes this airport is looking great taxi lights <clears throat> where do we park puerto princesa airport there it is beautiful let's turn in here this might be a good enough parking slot let's turn on the apu start it up bit rusty but we arrived in one piece that's what's important right cool stuff now let me guys know in the comments if you want to see more flights with the a320 or with the crj i'm more than happy to use either one this one is definitely more how do you say afk friendly this airbus it's just so uh, so standalone you barely have to babysit it the crj is a much more involved one very nice either way both of them amazing experience let's just move forward a bit while we're waiting for that apu to complete startup yeah there it is parking brake set taxi lights can go off seatbelt signs can go off looking good there We have the APU available. <clears throat> yes, we do. All right, nice. So now we can actually shut off the engines. There we go. And that actually got caught already. Oh, I hate this menu, but I like the sound, so we'll, we'll live with it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoy that. We'll see how it goes. Looking forward to comments and uh, yes, suggestions. Let me know. I'm sure I missed a couple of procedures in there, but cut me some slack. Bit trusty still. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Clumsy flying. Catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.